Okay, so, um, Hypercam is my friend. So I've never used a Hypercam before. I kind of downloaded it off the internet about 10 minutes ago with the intent of screwing around on the computer to waste a couple of minutes. So, I'm going to be starting a probably ultimately unsuccessful Let's Play of Pokemon Sapphire. I will be using a couple of alternate rules based mostly off the Nuzlocke challenge, which I don't know how many of you know about Nuzlocke, but the basic core rules are as follows. Any Pokemon that faints instead of fainting and being able to be healed later dies permanently. You can only catch the first Pokemon you encounter in any route. That's even on the first route. If you go on the first route and encounter a Pokemon before you have Pokeballs, Tough luck, no Pokemon from that route for you. Okay, so tradition dictates that I play as a female character. Now, I'm just going to go with it. There's backstory behind my choosing the name Marina. Maybe I'll explain it eventually. But, <laughs> here we go. So, anyways, I'm going to try something that I tried at one point before with a Quilava and it didn't work, for reasons that I will explain as I go along. So, it is basically Nuzlocke, except instead of just that, you can't buy items from Marts, you can only use each Pokemon Center or your mom's house one time each, and you can use items, but the only items that you use are ones that you pick up off of the ground. You can't, as I said, purchase new items. So, that sounds different. I haven't decided on berries yet. The status berries are cheap if you get to use them. I don't know about the healing berries. I think I'm just going to say no berries and see how that goes and see how quickly I die. So, I have to set the clock now. And I'm going to set it to the correct time because the correct time is... Oh, it's this way. See, I'm tired. Because the correct time is 1.24 in the morning. How about that? So, I'm really tired. I don't really know why I'm up. But for some reason, I always stay awake. Okay, it's 1.25. Okay, yeah, this is 25. I thought that that was 25. Okay, I don't really know why I'm awake now, but... I'm awake now, and I'm doing this, and let's see how it goes. So basically, I was talking about the rules a minute ago. You can use um, a potion from the PC, too. There's a potion in your PC, and you can withdraw it if you want. And I'm going to allow myself to use this, because um, I will need it. So I'm going to go into the options now, and fast. Another rule. Set battle style, because it is cool. Frame type... The spacey one, where's the spacey one? Here's the spacey one. Okay, did that save? Yes, it saved. So, I tried to do this before with a Quilava as my starter, and what ended up happening was I got to the first gym, and Quilava knew Ember as its attacking move, Ember and Tackle, and what ended up happening with that was a Roxanne. It turns out Rock Tomb is like a three hit KO, and my Quilava did not really do very well against Rock Tomb being a 3 hit and he's not here, and... Oh god. <laughs> you know, you'd think after you played through the beginning of this game a certain number of times you would stop doing that, but you know, I have not stopped doing that. I continue to do that, and I don't even know where I'm supposed to... Okay. Right, so, <laughs> where we're actually supposed to go is to your rival's house, which is either May or Brendan. May, if you're a boy, in my case, Brendan, because I am a girl, at least, in-game. So, so is upstairs, I think, etc., etc. Here is Brendan. You can sort of creep around him and talk to him from whichever side you like, and hey, Hugh, who are you? Oh, you're Marina. I didn't know that you're a girl, so I assumed that you'd be a guy. <laughs> I've always found him to be something of a creeper, but that is just me. 
Anyway, so I think now I can go get my starter. I'm probably going to pick Torchic, just because of the whole fire type thing from the Quilava earlier, and I enjoy fire types, and... Fortunately for me, Combustion get du gets double kick, which should be enough to not die that easily to Roxanne. But okay, here we go. Torchic versus Pugiano. So I'm going to try to de defeat this as quickly as I can, because any damage that I get on this Torchic is not going to be healed off. Ever. So. That is important. I said earlier that you can use items. There is one caveat to that, you cannot use items during battle. You can use items outside of battle if you pick them up off the ground, but you can't use items in battle, because then that battle against uh, Brenton in a couple of minutes is going to be easy as everything. I don't know how I'm going to do the Elite Four. I've never gotten to that point in one of these experiments before, not even a regular Nuzlocke. I don't even know how people do that. While you're at it, let's give a nickname. Yes, let's. Torchic is a male. So... Hold on a moment. Special button. Hyphen. Yay. Wait a minute. This is aggravating. I will probably cut this part out. Or maybe not, but... <coughs> this is apparently what most aggravates people, is names that are not entirely in lowercase. And I never saw that myself, because I enjoy names that are in uppercase, because it feels more natural, because the Pokemon games themselves make everything in uppercase. No, how about not? Anyway, so... <laughs> I'm sorry. I have sort of a juvenile sense of humor, but... Okay, I still don't have running shoes, which means I can't run. So, as I said, Nuzlocke. You catch the first Pokemon you find in a route, which means that it will be beneficial to me to make it through here in as few steps as possible, so I can later catch a Pokemon on this route, which is, I think, just five on the bottom and five on the top. Okay. I just have to hope that I get lucky and I don't run into a Pokemon, and maybe I will, and last time I didn't, and this time I did! So that's good! So, already starting off on the right foot. At least for a time. This guy, he gives you something, I don't remember what it is, I think it's a potion, I hope it's a potion, and I want it, so... I'm going to get it! And it's a potion. Okay, great. I have a potion now. What I'm going to attempt to do is get to Brendan again without encountering any Pokemon on the grass. Now, I don't know if this is a good idea, because if I get to him with my level 5 Torchic, this may very easily turn into the shortest Let's Play ever, because I can lose, and it is very possible for me to lose to Mudkick. So, I'm just going to do it, and if I run into a Pokemon, then I will train Torchic up a little bit. And if I do not run into a Pokemon, then I will challenge him, and we will see if this turns into the shortest Let's Play ever. Okay, hey, it's Maria. Oh yeah, Dad gave you a Pokemon. I am going to hope, at this point, I am going to hope, and hope that I can defeat him with my Torchic. I'm just going to go straight out for Scratch. I'm going to continue to Scratch until his health reaches zero. And I'm going to hope that he does not get a critical hit, or that I do get a critical hit, or that I have to cough. <coughs> I apologize for that cough. So I will hope that he does not get a critical hit, or that I get a critical hit now, or this is looking good. Okay. That went surprisingly well. I'm pleased with how that went. So, level 6, that is good, and I've defeated Brendan. Really, you're not too shabby. I forget how to get Pokeballs in this game. I think this is one of the ones where, if I follow him back to the lab, he will give me Pokeballs for free, which is good because I would sort of like them to go back in there. I also don't know if I auto-heal or if I have to waste a potion or something. But okay, so heading back to the lab and stuff. 
sorry, it's 1.30 in the morning, guys. <laughs> so, I think the user soon gives me Pokeballs now. I don't really remember if he gives me Pokeballs, but I couldn't have bought them at the Mart earlier, even had I not been imposing some arbitrary restriction on myself. Pokedex. Pokedexes are fun. I enjoy Pokedexes. So, I think he's going to give me my first five Pokeballs, which is good because I have two routes, and that is something that almost never happens, and I will be able to get two Pokemon then. I do. Okay. Brendan gives me Pokeballs. It says he gives me Pokeball, but in fact, there are five of them. And it's good that there are five, because if there were just one, I would be in sort of trouble like this. So... We get running shoes now, I think. Yeah, so my mom is going to give me running shoes now, and then I'll be able to run around and stuff. And I like running around and stuff. So. I don't really know if, see, as it's one in the morning, I'm entirely ready to face the, um, agony of discovering whether or not I get a Wurmple, Zigzagoon, or Poochie. See, that's another thing about the last Let's Play that I did, or not let, Let's Play, the last time I attempted to, to do this challenge that I have set for myself. <coughs> I got, I think it was four Wurmples and two Wismers, and the Wurmples eventually evolved, except not all the way, so... It ended up being a bunch of normal type attacks versus Roxanne, and that, as you can imagine, did not go well, and I lost hard. So I'm just going to save here and catch back up with you guys when it's less 1.30 in the morning. That was about 10 minutes. I felt as though I was blabbering on for longer than that, but okay. I will see you guys next time.